Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my top jewelry sales of 2020. And these would be things that sold on generally eBay and Etsy. Those are the ones I've pulled up. Of course, I've got something in my eye right when I get started. But hey, that's just the way it goes. It's either this or a cough, right? When I'm live. Yeah, and I am live. So if you're watching now, say hey in the chat. And if you're watching later, thank you for watching. And if you're ever interested in catching me live or just want to know when I put out new videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. I sometimes will share prior on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasure. So make sure to follow me over on Facebook as well. All my links for all the social media stuffs are down in the description box below. So these are the sales that um, brought in a pretty good profit on my jewelry. And I will have a, a, a 2020, sorry, something to my eye, of course, um, top 2020 sales that were not jewelry related. So that video is also coming maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'm not sure. But hello, I see friends coming into the chat. JP. GR mom and Christine. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Susan. Thanks for being here. And Lisa and Brenda. And I know I've got more friends popping in. What was I going to say? I was going to tell you something else. Oh, for those of you who are asking about merch videos tomorrow evening, the guys and I are bringing merch talk back for, we're going to try to do it once a month uh, just to get the creative juices flowing uh, as far as the print on demand stuff. So that's tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Central. I think we've got the whole crew on deck. The only one I haven't heard back from is Chris, Thrift Shop Hustler. So we will see. I'm excited to, to chat with the guys again. And we always have a good time and get each other motivated to knock it out. All right, <clears throat> so let's take a peek uh, at some of these great sales. Oh, I do also want to say that they are all images from Etsy. And the reason that is, is eBay only saves it for 90 days. But I have a spreadsheet where I've, you know, I can say it's it sold on eBay versus Etsy in the price. Uh, but Etsy, when I deactivate it, when it sells on eBay, I deactivate it on Etsy and that way the listing is still there. So I can use it for educational purposes such as these. So if you're like, hey, they're all on Etsy. No, I'll tell you which, which are which. Okay, here we go. So first up, these are ones that were on actual Etsy sales. Um, this Art Deco ring sold for 42 bucks. It was a Marcosite and sterling silver. Let's see if I put how much I spent on it. This was one that uh, came in that $500 lot that I got. And so it was probably about a dollar because the lot that I bought had a, more than 500 pieces in it. So definitely uh, about a $40 or so profit on that. Next up, this is a good way to get ideas for like, okay, what are some good things, some good prices that I can find out there too. So next up is this book, book of Kells cuff bracelet. And this one was really thick and heavy. It was super cool. And pewter, very cool piece. And this sold for $50. Let's see what I bought it for. Did I put that down here? Ah, I paid $2 for it. So this is my little inventory note, how I keep track of it, because I can't remember how much everything I bought for everything for. All right, so that's next. And I didn't, I don't have these in any kind of like ascending or descending order that probably would have been smarter built up to the biggest one. But uh, I didn't think of that. Hi, hi in the chat. Hi, Brenda, how's it going? So glad you're, you got to make it. <clears throat> Pardon me, okay. Uh, then this is a sterling silver and turquoise cuff bracelet. And this one sold for $48. This is one that is, is like goes to show you like somebody got it, I bought, bought it for four bucks. Oh, this is one I got at Savers for four bucks. Um, my Savers had, has like a basket on the counter that they throw the cheap bracelets in. And I, I always dig through it because it never fails. Like off, I found Bakelite in there. I have found uh, turquoise. I found sterling silver. What did I find in there just the other day? Uh, I bought a bracelet uh, just the other day. Anyway, uh, but. Yeah, so always peek because stuff slips through all the time. This bracelet uh, was sold, like I took an offer on eBay 
And then the person, it didn't look right, it didn't fit or whatever. And so they sent it back and I relisted it at the price that I originally had it at and it sold for that price. So, you know, returns are not so scary. It's okay. It'll sell again. Uh, so that's my story on this one. Okay. Let me make it bigger so you can see the picture a little bit better. There we go. But then you can't see the, the, I like for y'all to be able to see the title too. Let's see. Can you see it there? There we go. Okay. Then if you have questions too, as I go along, pop them in the chat. Uh, this is another one. And this is one that I just found a charm from this brand in a Goodwill blue box and it, it had the same design, but this was a ring. So this is a, a dogwood ring and it is, why did I not have the brand on here? That's weird because this is, uh, oh grace. I can't think of his name now. Bo. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's going to drive me bonkers. And I'm wondering why I don't have the brand name on here. Maybe it was a different piece that I also sold. No. Okay. Anyway, this is, this one I sold for 35 bucks and I'm looking down here. I could have done this before. This was one that was in that $500 lot as well. Ah, oh, that's going to drive me nuts because this is a brand that you should look out for. Yeah, it's Bo something um, as far as the name goes. And it's it's escaping me right now. So, and it's just weird that I didn't put it in the title. That's weird of me. Okay. These are some clip-on earrings. They're metal. They're really cool. And they look like poppies. And uh, these are clip-ons. And these were given to me a while back for... A lady sent me some stuff. Her, anyway, her name is Sharon. She sent me uh, some stuff after Hurricane Harvey. And she was like, keep what you want, sell what you want. Um, because I was donating, you know, money for the hurricane relief efforts in my town when I was living back in Friendswood. And this, this was a pair that I was selling for that. I ended up because some of the stuff didn't sell super fast. So I ended up like making a upfront thing, a uh, donation or whatever. Uh, I had somebody else ask me about that. That's why I'm clarifying it. Cause somebody's like, wasn't that for the hurricane relief? Yes. And this is, I took care of it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Next up is this silver cloud turquoise ring. And this one, oh, did I tell you what those earrings sold for? I never did. <laughs> those sold for 35 bucks. <laughs> uh, this one, this turquoise ring, there we go sold for $68. And I probably should have, I don't know, you could see how I write my descriptions. This was also in that $500 lot that I got. So that was a really great lot. Is Are you guys there in the chat? Are we just like watching? Because there's like no, usually y'all are back and forth saying, hey, and chit-chatting. Maybe we're just in learning mode. I don't know. Okay. These earrings, I loved them. I, they were so, I was so tempted to catch and release them. Um, they, uh, but yeah, they were super cool. And the brand or were this Edgar Ber Berebi and they weren't necessarily a brand. I mean, some of this brand's jewelry could sell for a bit, but I just thought these were so unique. And so I ended up putting a high price on them because I could, there was nothing else like it. Uh, so this is, was $53, what I got for these. Uh, why did I call it Silver Cloud? Okay, that is a good question. I'm gonna pull that up because there's different kinds of turquoise. And let me see if I can pull up a picture of what Silver Cloud turquoise looks like. And, um, Let's see if I can get it to work right now. And because it was that kind of turquoise, I did a lot of research before. I didn't just like pull the type out of my, you know. Uh, anyway, I did a, a lot of research to find out what kind of turquoise it was. And that was what I found that it was likely, likeliest to be. Uh, so that's what I did. And there's that. Okay. There are sites where you can look and see like all the different types of turquoise, like side by side. It's pretty cool. Okie dokie. So next, did I miss? I must be a little bit out of order. Yeah. Or else I took one down. Did I skip one? No. Okay. I must, uh, and we'll see. Okay. So next up, this is a Scotty Dog class varsity pin, a little chain mascot pin. Uh, and it said Francis Mildred on it. Super cute number 40 or the year 1940. And I got this at an estate sale, I believe. 
I did, and I didn't put how much I got it for. Uh, but I know I got this at an estate sale, and this sold for $90. And it was definitely more than some of the others that I saw out there, but I knew that there were dog people and Scotty dog people, and there was nothing like it. And so I felt like, you know what? It's one of those, like, you can't get a high price unless you ask for that high price. And so there we have it. We had to ask for the high price. And like I say, I always have best offer put on, on eBay anyway. So if they want to send me an offer, that's cool too. Then this is another one that I got from the savers basket. This is an abalone bangle and it was just in silver tone metal. It was abalone and onyx inlaid in silver tone. Oh yeah. I did a little video. Etsy allows you to add a little video in there. Uh, I think it's like 20 seconds or something like that, but there's no audio. So that's kind of hard. Um, but I liked to be able to show the shimmer shines on it. I think I added my eBay. I mean, no, no, I didn't. Okay. Anyway, this sold for 35 bucks. Yeah. Next. My kids are whistling <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> All right. Then this one, I believe I also got at an estate sale. And it's a silver cocker spaniel brooch. And it's kind of got an art deco frame in the back. So this one sold for $75. And this I bought, yeah, for five bucks. This one I did. I got it at the same estate sale, I think, that I got the, the Scotty Dogs at. Because that was one that had... A lot of figural jewelry, a lot. Of, I think I got a laying swan at that one and a lot of animals. So I like picking animal ones up. Animal ones, animal, oops, wrong one. There we go. Animals. Okay, then this one. Now you can see here where it shows $39.99. Can you see that part at the bottom? This is where, it sh this is one that sold on eBay. And the reason it still has the price down there is because I made this listing inactive on Etsy. So this one I sold for $37. And let's see if I have the inventory note on that one. This one uh, was a dollar. So either it was something that I literally got for a dollar, but usually when I have things that come in a blue box or a jewelry jar. I'll put JJ next to it for a jewelry jar. Oopsies. Okay. <laughs> is that my dinner on the way? It is on the way. Okay. I Uber eated some food for tonight. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I'm off the hook for cooking. <laughs> next up, this is a little Aztec bracelet or Aztec calendar. I always get them mixed up, the Aztec and the Mayan one. I'm always worried I'm going to put the wrong thing. So I put both. Because I don't, I don't know. It's probably not the wisest, but that's what I do. Uh, this one ended up selling this. Okay, so I must have had it listed, uh, relisted again, because I did my looking at back at my other things, and it says I, I sold it for $55. So cool. That's cool. And this one, I think I also got in that $55 lot. I'm trying to, wa I'm wondering why. Because normally I try to keep the prices the same. So must, something must have happened where I, I listed it for more on eBay. And this is another one that was in that $500 lot. Did I say $55 lot? $500 lot. And this pink opal bracelet sold on eBay for $50. Hey, everybody in the chat. <laughs> I'm just going through stuff. Okay, good. Y'all just watching. You're cooking. You're driving. Be careful driving. Um, watching. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, cool. Um, yes, go over there and hit that thumbs up. I know I'm not as much in the chat today, but I'll have to do like a of jewelry unboxing where we're live so I can use my treasure cam. Okay. Then, uh, so this one was $50. Ah, oh, these sold. Oh my gosh. I love selling men's accessories, especially, especially cool, funky, fun ones. I couldn't find anything like these Apollo spacecraft command module cufflinks. The only ones I could find were like on a museum type site. Like they were specially made for whatever astronaut, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so since I couldn't find anything like it, I listed them at $375. <clears throat> they weren't gold. They weren't, you know, like something super, they weren't Tiffany and company, but because they were so unique and so specific and I knew there were space people that collect like crazy, 
I listed them for $375. And I took an offer on eBay of $275 for them because I could. <laughs> and I got these, here we go, uh, in a $10 and JB stands for jewelry bag. So in a $10 jewelry bag, ta-da! Must have been like a jewelry. Oh, I, I got these. It was when I was with the green room and we went to that uh, charity shop, thrift shop, and they had all these like bags of jewelry. And they were not giant bags, but they were like, and I was like, I can't believe I'm spending 10 bucks for this little tiny bag. And uh, I got a few of them and this was in one of those. Isn't that awesome? So fun. Then I cannot quite claim this is my sale. I, I listed this item and I took the pictures of this item but I did not find this item. <laughs> this is one that my child found when we were in the bins. And this is one of those when the, the student becomes the master moments. So I'm digging through the bins and my kid comes up to me and it, um, holds out their hand and was like, is this good? And I was just like, are you kidding me? We're in the bins and I'm over here digging through like glass and garbage and you just reach over and pluck out a sterling silver and turquoise inlay money clip. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, so yeah, this <laughs> cost next to nothing because we got it at the bins and I did, I did a finder's fee because I, that's the deal I have with the kids. I, if I have to take the pictures and do the listings, then I get 10% and then you can have the rest. Uh, but, so that's what happened here. Find your sweet for mommy, but my kid got the profit because I'm fair like that. So uh, yeah, so pretty cool. This sold for $75. Pretty awesome. I know, right? <laughs> my kids are the bins more often. They are like, yeah, really good at <laughs> finding cool stuff. Definitely. All right. Next up is this Scandinavian brooch. This is another one that I think I got at the same estate sale as the Scotty dogs. Let me make sure down here. Yeah. Five bucks. I got that at the, um, that estate sale and, uh, I sold this for $42. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, no, nah, that's right. The, what was I going to say? I got off track for just a second. Oh yeah, a great way to make allowance. And that's what I told my kids, like, look, they're wanting to make more money. I said, you can do it this way. It'll take a while for me to get it listed. Or you can come in here, set up your computer next to mine while I'm working and I'll walk you through it. And you can keep, if you take the pictures and you write out the listings, you can even use my account on eBay, that's fine. But if you do the, all the work, you can keep all the money. But if I have to do the photos and listing, then I'm taking my kit. <laughs> Maybe that's a mean, but they got to learn, right? Anyway, this one sold for 42 bucks. They haven't taken me up on it yet. Ah, this ring, where did I get this one? Because I was really surprised. Oh, I, I wish I remembered now, but this was a gold ring. I feel like it was either in a jewelry jar or like it was at Savers and it was just like in the case for not that much money. It was really cheap. But anyway, this ring was a 14 karat gold ring. And the reason I was like, oh, that's interesting because it had the darn it. Hang on. That little band on the inside. And yeah, it just jumped out at me when I found it. But this one uh, sold for 200 bucks. Again, I probably could have gotten more, but I think this was in a moment when I was like, I really have some bills to pay. So I'm willing to take the, the 200 bucks for it. Um, I like to think they are. <laughs> I like to think so. Then a couple more. This is an Avon key ring. I don't have water with me. Uh, and this one, I'm going to scroll a little bit again, sold on eBay. This was in that $500 lot as well. And it sold for $65. There were some other key rings like this up and I did have it listed for a little while and I did get a lot of low offers on it. 
So I could have taken a lower offer. I ended up getting $65 for it. I just held out. Um, I, I Generally, that's kind of how it works for me. Like if, if I'm really kind of crunched for money, I'm a little more likely to take lower offers. I think that's normal, you know, but if I'm like, you know what, things are okay. I'm, I'm willing to wait for a higher price. The more I'm looking at myself right now though, off task, uh, I don't think purple is working, <laughs> but well, that's for neither here nor there, but I don't think it's working for me. Um, yeah. So I tend to take lower offers if I, you know, I've got bills to pay. So yeah. <laughs> then this re and this bracelet also was in that $500 lot. Uh, it has these really pretty opals. And this one, I took an offer of $50 on. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, when did I buy this $500 lot? <laughs> no, it is not. So that it happened when I moved to Austin and a member of the group reached out to me, <clears throat> my Texas gals jewelry lovers and had gotten a lot of jewelry from her mother-in-law or her mother-in-law had passed away and it was tubs. And I, every time I tell you, I still have a tub, right? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show it to you. Oh gosh. One of the cats has been here. That pink tub behind that's under that blue tub. That one is still full of stuff. I haven't finished going. I mean, I've gone, I've looked at it, but I haven't done like a haul video on it. Now I can't get my screen right there. Um, it still has a lot of jewelry in it that I need to go through some more. Um, but so, yeah, I just, you know, she had all, like tubs of stuff and, and I just bought it for $500. That's what happened. <clears throat> I need earrings. The purple's get. Yeah, I don't, I normally do have earrings in. We went to the park. We had a park day with some friends today, masked. But I had been out exercising. And I don't usually wear jewelry when I go walk and stuff. So that's probably, that may be it too. I'm not looking very blingy. Ah, well. Ah, well. Uh, so those are my sales. Yeah, you still haven't seen that tub. It's true. Uh, for my top jewelry sales of 2020, I do have my top other sales coming. I have the list. I have everything set up. So I'm trying to decide if I should go ahead and do that tomorrow. But I also have the merch video tomorrow evening. Or just wait till the next day after that, like Thursday. But then I won't have a jewelry video up, which is kind of bummer, a bummer. Oh, the conundrums. Let me know what you vote for. Should I just plow ahead tomorrow and just put out two videos? And then Thursday, come back with a jewelry. Y'all, did y'all see the one from yesterday? This is sitting right here so I can pull it out. Uh -huh. Warrior princess. Did y'all see that one? Fun. Here it is. If I can get it on. Wow. My friend says I need to keep it for like parties. I need to fashion it into like a headdress for myself. Anyway, I think I am fine. I think it's this coloring. I totally am. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I don't think this purple is working for me. <laughs> um, I did not that. Uh, oh gosh. What was the brand of it? It was like a Weiss, right? Or something like it was really cool. No, I never did. I think, I think I accidentally sent it to the wrong person in a box and they just didn't ever say, cause I never did find it. <laughs> um plow through okay <laughs> so probably that's what will happen because I'll probably come on tomorrow during the day and do the the top sales from 2020 for other stuff and then tomorrow I'll just do two videos tomorrow tomorrow evening be on with the guys um okay I think that's it uh so anyway if you're if you're wanting to find me on social medias all my links are down below I am on Instagram and Facebook I have groups on Facebook. You can link up with me and all the different groups that I have down there in the description box. <laughs> all right. All right. I hope you guys have a great evening and I am going to hopefully have Thai food very soon. Uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye everybody.